And I Wonder Where You Are by Tania Winder. Sacred stars blanket a nighttime sky. Each light reminds us of the preciousness of life. Your memory lives along the Milky Way. Each twinkle saying, don't forget my name. It's an epidemic, a sickness of the earth, a war we enter as soon as we are birthed. Indigenous women, girls, our two spirit too. When did this world start disappearing you? My poem is Uphill by Christina Rossetti. Does the road wind uphill all the way? Yes, to the very end. Will the day's journey take the whole long day? From morn to night, my friend. But is there for the night a resting place? A roof for when the slow dark hours begin. May not the darkness hide it from my face. You cannot miss that in. Shall I meet other wayfarers at night? Those who have gone before. Then must I knock or call when just in sight? Shall I find comfort? Travel sore and weak? Of labor, you shall find the sum. Will there be beds for me and all who seek? Yeah, beds for all who come. That's it. All Housing by Dorothea Channing. Be perfect. Make it otherwise. Yesterday is torn in shreds. Lightning's thousand sulfur eyes rip apart the breathing beds. You're about to crack and pulverize. Doom creeps in on rubber treads. Countless overwrought housewives, minds unraveling like threads. Try lipstick shades to tranquilize fears of age and general dreads. Sit tight, be perfect, swat spies. Don't take faucets to fountain heads. Drink tasty antidotes, otherwise you and the werewolf newlyweds. <laughs> Invitation to love by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Come when the nights are bright with stars, or come when the moon is mellow. Come when the sun his golden bars drops on hayfield yellow. Come in the twilight, soft and gray. Come in the night or come in the day. Come, O oh love, when ear you may, and you are welcome. After the Winter by Claude McKay. Someday, when trees have shed their leaves and against the morning's white, the shivering birds in, sorry, the shivering birds beneath the eaves have sheltered for the night. We'll turn our faces southward, love, toward the summer isle, where bamboos spire the shaft of grove and wide-mouthed orchids smile. And we will seek the quiet hill where towers the cotton tree and leaps the laughing crystal rill and works the droning bee. And we will build a cottage there beside an open glade with black-ribbed bluebells blowing near and ferns 
that never fade. My poem is called Tiger Mask Ritual by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni. When you put on the mask, the thunder starts. Through the nostrils orange, you can smell the far hope of rain. Up the nilgris, glisten of eucalyptus, drip of pine, spiders tumbling from the silver webs. The mask is raw and red as bark against your face bones. You finger the stripes, rich like wheels out of your childhood. A wind is rising in the north, a scarlet light like a fire in the sky. When you look through the eye holes, it is like falling. Night gauzes you in black. You are blind as in the beginning of the world. Sniff, seek the moon. Soon, after a while, you will know that creased, musky smell is rising from your skin. Once you locate the ears, the drums begin. Your first stiffens. Which one looks a. a wind. I don't know. From. A wind from the distant, a roar from the distant left. A wind, uh, a, a roar from the distant left, like monsoon water. You swivel your sightless head under your sheathed paw. The ground shifts wet. What is that small, wild sound sheltering in your skull against a circle that always closes in just before dawn? Dragons by Devin Johnston. We gathered in a field southwest of town. Several hundred hauling coolers and folding chairs along a gravel road, dry in August. Two ruts of soft dust that soaked before I closed and rose in the trees behind them. By me, they could discern their massive coils emerging from the bed of clouds. Scared crescent dapples, through walnut fronds, the light polarized, each leaf tipped in focus. As their bodies blotted out the sun, the forest faded to a silver point, a current of cool air extended from the bottom neck, an inclination of October and the bowl of sky deepened its celestial arcmatic. Their tails like banners of a vast army swept past Orion and his retinue with cries and scattered applause. Faint rams had climbed spire. In half an hour, they had passed on Before our company dispersed, just whirling in the wind, we plan to meet again in seven years for their next known migration. Sunlight flashed on one field and caught along the little day a cloudy, peeled scale about the size of a dinner plate, cool as frosty shy. To Have Without Holding by Marge Piercy. Learning to love differently is hard. Love with hands wide open. Love with the doors banging on their hinges, the cupboards unlocked, the winds roaring and whimpering, 
rustling the sheets and snapping the blinds that twack like rubber bands in open palm. It hurts to love wide open, stretching the muscles that feel as if they're made of wet plaster, then of blunt knives, then of sharp knives. It hurts to thwart the reflexes of grab, of clutch, to love and let go again and again. It pesters to murder the lover who is not in the bed, to hold back what is owed to the work that gutters in a candle like a cave, like a candle in a cave without air, to love consciously, conscientiously, concretely, constructively. I can't do it. You say it's killing me, but you thrive. You glow on the street like a neon raspberry. You float and sail a helium balloon, bright, ba bright bachelor's bun blue, and bobbing on the cold and hot winds of our breath as we make and unmake, in passionate diastole and systole, the rhythm of our unbound bonding, to have and not to hold, to love with min minimized malice, hunger, and anger moment by moment balanced. Rabbits and Fire by Alberto Rios. Everything's been said, but one last thing about the desert. And it's awful. During brush fires in the Sonoran Desert, brush fires that happen before the monsoon, and in the great, deep, wide, and smothering heat, the hottest months, the longest months, the hypnotic, immeasurable lulls of August and July. During these summer fires, jackrabbits, jackrabbits and everything else that lives in the brush of the rolling hills, but jackrabbits especially, Jackrabbits can get caught in the flames, no matter how fast and big and strong and sleek they are. And when they're caught, cornered in and against the thick trunks and thin spines of the cactus, when they can't back up anymore, when they can't move, the flame, it touches them, and their fur catches fire. Of course they run away from the flame, finding movement even when there's none to be found, jumping big and high over the wave of fire, or backing even harder through the impenetrable tangle of hardened saguaro and prickly pear and choya and barrel. But whichever way they find, what happens is what happens. They catch fire and then bring the fire with them when they run. They don't know they're on fire at first, running so fast as to make the fire shoot like rocket engines and smoke behind them. But then the rabbits tire, and the fire catches up, stuck onto them like the needles of the cactus, which at first must be what they think they feel on their skins. They've felt this before, every rabbit, but this time the feeling keeps on. And of course they ignite the brush and dried weeds all over again, making more fire all around them. I'm sorry for the rabbits. And I'm sorry for us to know this. Early Affection by George Moses Horton. I loved thee from the earliest dawn, when first I saw thy beauty's ray, and will until life's eve comes on, and beauty's blossom fades away. And when all things go well with thee, with smiles and tears remember me. I'll love thee when thy morn is past, and wheedling gallantry is over, when youth is lost and age is blessed, and beauty can ascend no more. And when life's journey ends with thee, oh, then look back and think of me. I'll love thee with a smile or frown, mid sorrow's gloom or pleasure's light. When the chain of light, when, when the chain of life runs down, and when the chain of life runs down, pursue thy last eternal flight. When thou hast spread thy wing to flee, still, still a moment, wait for me. I'll love thee. I love thee for those sparkling eyes to which my fondness was betrayed, bearing the tincture of the skies to glow when other beauties fade. And when they sink too low to see, reflect an azure beam on me. <laughs> Lunar Baydecker by Mina Loy. A silver lucifer serves cocaine and cornucopia. 
to some somnambulists of adolescent thighs draped in satirical draperies. Perish to livery, prepare lethe for posthumous parvenus, delirious avenues lit with the chandelier souls of infusoria from Pharaoh's tombstones. Lead to merciful doomsdays, odious oasis in furrowed phosphorus, the eye-white, skylight, white light district of lunar lusts, stelectric signs, wing shows on starway, zodiac carousel, cyclones of ecstatic dust and ashes whirl, crusaders from hallucinatory citadels of shattered glass into evacuate craters, a flock of dreams browse on necropolis from the shores of the oval oceans in the oxidized orient. Onyx eyes, odalisks, and orthonologists observe the flight of arrows obsolete. And immortality mildews the museum of the moon. Nocturnal cyclops, crystal concubine, pocked with personification, the fossil virgin of the skies waxes and wanes. <laughs>